Let me tell you something, though, when Tilray was at 300, I believe we had around a 40 target rating. People said, you're crazy, because Sun Edison went bankrupt, and we had a buy rating at 30. Now, I know that sounds insane, but let me tell you this. They worked with us on this trade, and when the stock was 19, we reduced our $30 target to $1. At first solar, people exclaimed, you're crazy, um. I remember this is back in 2009 when the stock was like $230, I think we had a 40 price target. People said, you're crazy, look. I think that's what the stock is worth when it gets there. We'll reevaluate um. But I think there's a lot of issues which we have like every Tesla ball out there. You're waiting to take advantage of the plunging stock price. I'll load up more on Tesla shares and this recent statement from Tesla's biggest band. Maybe something that you don't want to miss out on, yeah. I think are pretty aggressive, um. What kind of volumes are you thinking, um? I think we have them getting to like 10 million, okay. So you'll actually have them getting to 10 mil, right? but your DCF is still putting them at 24 today, correct? That's scary, right? Because the thing is, think about this, right? So if Tesla did what 73 cents on in Q, when you multiply that by four and divide it into the stock price today, you're talking about just under 60 times multiple, right? The industry trades at seven times. This is for a company who effectively cut prices roughly, I think it was like 10 in Q1, yet saw volumes grow just 4%, right? That means they're cutting prices and they're not seeing the elasticity. Think about this. What if Lamborghini dropped their pricing by 20%? You get the idea that people would rush to the showroom, don't they? The problem with Tesla, in our opinion, is very simple. Over the last four quarters, the company has produced more cars than it has sold, a record, cutting prices, but you're not seeing the same increase in unit volume that you are seeing in price. If that were 200 alien Lamborghini people, the elasticity would be enormous. Cuts are a serious issue. We think your company is the Blackberry of EVS, they're the pioneers, but now there are all these other guys entering the market with cars that have a track record of making it, nicer interiors, equal or greater actual world range, and actual serviceability. As you can see, Tesla has never seen a full business cycle. In other words, it's a frontier egg test at. For that reason, I believe there's a lot more downside because of the intense competition, which isn't entirely Tesla's fault. Consider this, the capital cost. According to a number of observers, Tesla is more than just an automaker. Gordon Johnson believes these analysts will eventually come to the realization that Tesla is the best it can be. Johnson thinks Tesla's competitors are getting closer, and the car maker will probably react quickly. Will the evidence support this conclusion? We're going to find out soon, though. I everyone happy. To be back at Tesla tomorrow, Johnson said earlier this year that Tesla's lead times and backlogs have drastically decreased indicating a weakening in demand. The underlying problem with Tesla is a long-term growth concern that renders its current valuation nonsensical. According to Gordon Johnson, Tesla is a business that is valued at almost twice as much as Toyota due to its incredible growth. He mentioned that Tesla sells 1.3 million cars annually compared to Toyota's 11 million, and he added that since Tesla is worth twice as much as Toyota, the EV manufacturer ought to be expanding rapidly. Johnson contends that when investors realize Tesla has created too much capacity, the company's shares will drop to just 24.33 per share by the end of the year. We'll get into the specifics in a moment before we get started, so perhaps this is true or not. Please click the like button, subscribe to our channel, and enable notifications if you enjoy this kind of content so that you can be informed about all that Tesla is up to. It's crucial to remember that although some investors may have been frustrated by Tesla's declining net earnings, astute investors have already seen the wider picture. Although the market appeared dissatisfied with the EV maker's declining margins and net profit, Tesla's strategic move to become the lowest cost producer in the EV industry is a long-term play that may hurt its results in the short term, but should produce enormous benefits for the future. It's obvious though that short-term pay in exchange for long-term gains clearly is Tesla's game plan here, and investors should probably think along those lines as well. There are other important takeaways from Tesla's report that shrewd investors pay close attention to. After seeing what Tesla did last year, a net income more than doubled, investors hoped for similar results in 2023. Regretfully, Tesla was dissatisfied with the results of their repeated price reductions for the EVS, a slower 24% revenue growth and a 24% drop in net income in the first quarter, even while investors prefer not to view a company's net income in their portfolio. They need look past the headline figures to comprehend Tesla's recent strategic move, despite the difficulties. Despite this, Tesla is still upbeat about its future. 
the business emphasized its continuous investments in battery manufacturing and attempts to normalize raw material and logistics costs, while restating its target of delivering over 1.8 million vehicles by 2023. Additionally, Tesla anticipates maintain the highest operating margin among major OEMs. This is a basic notion. To make its TVs more affordable, Tesla is cutting their pricing. The automobile manufacturer will be able to boost sales volume, scale its economies of scale, and raise its operating leverage with greater affordability. This will therefore contribute to further lowering the production cost per unit, which will enable further reductions in TV sale prices. Tesla will become one of the biggest automakers in the world thanks to this positive cycle of declining expenses and production combined with increasing sales volumes. In the short term, this strategy hurts Tesla, even though it makes a lot of sense in the long run to strengthen its competitive advantages. Despite an increase in sales volumes following recent price increases, Tesla's revenue decreased in the first quarter of 2023 as compared to the fourth quarter of 2022. There are early indications of success, but it will take a few years for the corporation to completely reap the rewards of the plan. For example, the Model I recently emerged as the best-selling vehicle in both Europe and the US, excluding pickup trucks. Similar to that, Tesla recently declared on Twitter that its AUD variant, which achieves an amazing 4 miles per qua, is the most efficient electric SUV ever made. The business released a chart that demonstrated Tesla's considerable advantage in energy efficiency, by contrasting the model by model EPA range with those of its rivals. As the Charlton Tesla's tweets illustrate how many miles per quad different small, all wheel drive SUVs have in terms of energy economy, and it's evident that the Model Y is much ahead of its rivals. Due to its exceptional efficiency and outstanding 330 mile range on a single charge, the Tesla Model Y is the best option for those looking to purchase an electric SUV. Tesla has been successful in changing the auto industry's focus from internal combustion engines to electric motors and self-driving cars. Nonetheless, due to intense competition surrounding its valuation, expectations for its own financial performance have increased, although rivals are emulating Tesla's production methods and purchasing some of the same machinery, there is really nothing to be concerned about or afraid of in this situation. Tesla was having trouble a few years ago in the manufacturing technology space but now it has a significant advantage over its competitors. Elon Musk has also assured investors that Tesla can maintain its advantage in EV manufacturing costs. Investors often overlook Tesla's strong balance sheet, which includes an astounding $22.4 billion in cash and cash equivalents, as well as investments. That represents a significant improvement from the company's bankruptcy-threatening state a few years prior. Its strong balance sheet not only gives Tesla the cushion to weather financial storms, but it also gives it the flexibility to focus on its long-term objectives and keep investing in expanding its market position even during downturns. Being the best lowest cost producer provides ample benefits. A strong balance sheet will help Tesla survive downturns in global economies during those challenging periods consumers will be less able and willing to buy big ticket item cars. In addition to making more money on each EV sold through additional services like supercharging connection and autonomy, it would enable Tesla to charge pricing that are broadly comparable to those of its rivals and increase profits. Over time, the price reductions should probably increase the number of its vehicles on the road, which benefits the economy by allowing it to gather more data for its AI systems. Develop its independence auto projects, this side as Tesla keeps up its efforts in fields like self-driving cars. Investments in robotics and renewable energy will cost a significant amount of money. Even more essential to the company's ability to carry out its ambitious ambitions is a strong finance sheet. Demand for Tesla's automobile models remains strong in top gear, even in the face of economic restraints, given the company's already great success. The carmaker recently emphasized that, over a five-year period, the total cost of ownership for a Model 3 with rear-wheel drive is comparable to that of a Toyota Corolla, despite the Model 3's price being comparable to that of an identical BMW Audi. Due to lower maintenance expenses, less expensive power, and a better residual value for used Tesla vehicles, Tesla claims that over the course of their lifetime, EVS will have lower operational costs than conventional vehicles. According to Tesla, a Model 3's total cost of ownership over 5 years, or 60,000 miles, is $0.49 cents per mile, compared to $0.46 cents per mile for a base 2023 Toyota Corolla. This translates to a $2,000 differential over 100,000 kilometers in total cost of ownership for the Toyota Corolla 
against a Model 3 of just over $0.02 cents per kilometer over a five-year period. Although the ticket price or upfront cost is only one aspect of the story, many individuals believe that EVS are simply too pricey. The economics of car ownership are beginning to favor electric vehicles, or EVS, when you take into account maintenance and fuel expenditures over the course of the vehicle's lifetime. Tesla will continue to prioritize efficiency as the market grows since it benefits customers, the environment, and the bottom line of the business. This should aid the carmaker in achieving its goal of leading the EV cost market. Do you think the same things I do? Please let us know, and don't forget to share your Tesla valuation with us. Remember to click on one of the following videos that will appear on your screen if you want to stay updated on all that Tesla is doing. Talk to you there.